Welcome back. Satish Gear here from Dallas, Texas. In this video, I want to show you exactly how you can make thousand dollars every single day over and over and over. Okay, that's a promise right there. As long as you follow these steps, you should be able to make a thousand dollars a pop with this method. Okay, I've tried it and I've taught it, so you should be good. Now, let me go ahead and tell you how I why. Okay, I didn't just wake up this morning and decide to make this video. I didn't. I had no plans, right? But I thought I would because last night what happened was I was at a friend's party, right? And I don't know if you know, but most of my friends are married, right? No, they got kids, right? So they usually don't invite me to their parties these days. They're like, until, you know, once you get married, we'll invite you to these parties, right? But they did invite me last night. I went in. It was, <laughs> it was fun, I guess. Uh, but um, overall, so before I came home, um, my friend, I'm not gonna name him, but he said, hey, can you, do you know any ways my kid can make a, make some money? I'm like, how old is your kid? 15, right? I was like, okay, so hmm, 15, and how much does he wanna make? He was like, he wants to save for some, I don't know, a couple thousand bucks. And I thought, okay, so his kid is 15, probably doesn't know anything about these marketing and things like that. So I have to find a way for him to make money. So I thought, okay, give me a day. So that's why I'm making this video. So I'm making this video for my friend's kid, but you can watch it too right now because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make $1,000 over and over and over. But here's a deal, okay? You have to, you have to go ahead and watch it till the end, okay? Because I'm gonna show it to you step by step so you know what to do. That's number one. Number two is if you haven't yet, you have to go and hit that red button. That's, you know, that little button right there so that I can bring more of these videos to you for free. Let's move on. So, so here's what I would advise to you and to my, you know, friend's kid. Okay. So number one, okay. Find a website, find a business that you normally use, but has a lame website. For example, so let's say you, you know, you love wings, right? Or you love pizza and you know a website of your, of, the, of your favorite company, right? and they have a lame website. So what is a lame website? So a lame website is whenever, you know, whenever let's say you open that site on a mobile device, right? You have to scroll it like you know, left, left and right. Those weird stuff happens. There's images overlapping, you know, words overlapping and things like that. So when you see those things, you can be sure, right? For example, like, you know, the lock sign, the HTTPS is not working out. All those things mean that the website is lame. So step number one is to find a lame website of a business that you love. Okay, that's the first step. Now step number two is you have to learn how to use something called Webflow. So what is Webflow? So Webflow is pretty much, it's like a drag and drop website builder, which is pretty much free, okay? You can use others as well, but what I've found is that Webflow is kind of super easy. It can, you know, it can be as easy as you make it and as difficult as you want to make it. So that's why I like Webflow and it just makes, it's, it's just, it's just going to make things easier for you. So the step number two is to create a Webflow account. Okay. And once you go ahead and create that Webflow account, you're going to learn how to create a website in there using a free template. Okay. Now I'm going to get on the computer right now and show you how to do that right now so let's go okay we're on the computer right now let's go ahead and take a look let's go ahead and go to webflow.com first right we're going to be learning how to create the webflow account finding a free template that we can use for that business learning basic copy and then we can go out so a couple of things that we need to keep in mind okay when i said find a lame website i'm talking about websites you know that looks that look obviously bad right that looks that look obviously bad let me show you what right for example if you go to google maps right um and if we go here let's say i find i go uh winks near me right let's just see i'm not trying to find franchise i'm just trying to find like you know these moms and pops like you know small shops right for example this one right these are like individually owned oh it's winks daddy so i don't know if winks daddy is a franchise but let's see okay let's check it out I think they have a, okay, let's go. I'm going to open the site. Let's go ahead and click on, um, I forgot the command. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's right. Click inspect. Uh, let's go to click on this little button right here. Okay. Let's take a look, right? Okay. Navigation, navigation. Okay. I think this also qualifies for lame because 
what would you do to, to this, right? You would go ahead and maybe, you know, because where is the tap to call, right? How do people call them, right? When people go there, the idea is to get them to call to place an order, right? So it's not here, right? It's not here. Um, and where's their menu of navigation? Okay, it's like that, okay? Menu, let's see. Okay, the other problem right here is the fact that this this is this probably looks good on let's go ahead and turn it off. Yeah, you can see you see what I mean, right? Um click here too for okay. Hmm, let's go back, let's click on inspect. Okay, like this. I think this can improve. Okay, I think this can improve. We just need to make it better, okay? Uh, but obviously we need the tap to call button so people can like call straight up. And we can do all those things through Webflow, okay? All those things and things like this. So this is just an example. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and click on, let's go back right here. I just want to show you some lame websites like let, get restaurants, okay? Restaurants near me, okay? Um, and then let's see, okay? Um, if you see that somebody is like, you know, running ads, that, check them out as well. But most likely they have things taken care of. Um, I try to avoid... Um, you know, no offense, but I try to avoid Asian restaurants because they're kind of stingy. Um, let's take a look at this, okay? Uh, right click, but we can take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? This is another example of a lame website, okay? In an age like this, where like 80% of your traffic, 90% of your traffic is coming from mobile, this is what's happening. So this is this is why I said, you know, you, there's so much money in it, right? And it's going to take you about 30 minutes to build this out, right? And once you have it built out, if you just walk in and show them, chances of they want to, wanting that website is super, super high, right? You know, maybe they won't give you that $1,000, but they will give you money. That is guaranteed, right? That is guaranteed. I've tried that. I've asked a lot of people to do it. It does work, okay? So you got the idea, right? Let's go ahead and get on Webflow right here. Now on Webflow, a uh, couple of things, right? Let's go ahead and click on log in. Oh, well, let's click get started, get a free account. And boom, we are going to go and log right here in, okay? And next up, we're going to go ahead and click on, I think I had a account already, but create an account, right? Click on new project. And this is where you find a free template, guys. Free templates, so many of these, right? Um, once, of course, they pay you, you can, of course, put money in it and then, you know, run it for them. Uh, just find a nice website. Let's go to business. Okay, there we go. Okay, we can do, you just have to customize it, right? And I just want to show you, let's see if I can find one for restaurant or things. Let's go right here. Um, There we go. We found one for restaurant, right? Now this looks pretty cool. Uh, this looks like it's for 34 bucks. Um, uh, here's what I recommend, right? If you're gonna be focusing on restaurant websites, it doesn't hurt to buy one, but I would rather start off with like, you know, free design. Uh, let's see if we can find something. Okay, chomp chomp, we found something for free. There's something, also something for free. So you found something, right? These look, this looks pretty cool to me. Use it for free. Let's go right here and let's give it a name. So yum, Asian. Okay, cool. Let's click on create project. Now, next up. Oh my God. Okay. I need to, I guess I need to go back and delete the one of these. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, I guess I need to delete it, but you get the idea, right? Let's click it. Let's delete it. Okay. And let's go back to here and let's click on create a new project. Let's go ahead and find one. Let's click on, I think I was, let's go right here. Where's restaurant? It's business. Restaurant, okay, let's find it. It's a free one. There's more free ones too, I think. Um, let's just use a free one. Like I said, I, our goal is not to spend the money at this time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create it. Now, the idea here is that, you know, you create this free website, right, uh, here, and then you just pretty much walk in there and you can show them this demo, right? It's pretty easy up here. So 
you just got to change these things up, guys. Just click on it, right? And then you got the logo is already up here. You just got to make it look nicer. Just take a look at this. If you just use this, the site is going to look better, okay? You say, look, look at the, these things, right? Um, some of these things you might want to get rid of, like, you know, the like add to cart, right? Maybe let's get rid of it, right? Uh, we, we might want to get rid of, rid of this. All we do is put, like, you know, let's say our top items, okay? Top items. Top items on the menu right things like that you could do this okay and if you're wondering right uh uh you, you don't know anything about you know writing these things up guess what go to swipefolder.com right here right this website has like amazing amazing copywriting like all the sites base best sites right all you do is go up here and you find a site that looks pretty good and right? see if you can copy it. that's one other thing that you can do is just google up like a restaurant site take a look at what other people are doing for example right rest the top restaurants in dallas right if you type that up ideally you're gonna find websites that look good right that look good for example right here this is a top restaurant here in dallas let's go ahead and click on this let's go and click on the website let's see how their website looks if it looks nice guess what you can copy things like you can copy words around there's no copyright there's no rules where it says hey you cannot copy words okay hmm. their website looks nice okay um Can take a look at those things you can go to more there are more sites right you can just find some things things up and then find them up just like this go to websites just like this and then you'll be able to find nice websites uh, where you can get some inspirational ideas right uh, uh, this cook looks very very angry <laughs> uh yeah you see what i mean right you can get them i get ideas like this and and here, right, it's so easy. I think they have their own tutorial here as well. Uh, I also made a video on Webflow as well. All you do is just click here. You can add things up, delete things up. It's just drag and drop, right? And you can see uh, this is the best part, right? You can see what the site will look like on a mobile device, laptop, and then, you know, uh, tablets are just right here. So pretty much use it, learn it. And once you know how to use this, which, is gonna, which might take you a couple hours first time, but after that, guess what? If you're going to be focusing on creating restaurant websites, guess what? You have something ready. All you have to do is move things around, right? And make sure at the end of the website, at the bottom, you put powered by. Don't put what flow. Put like powered by your company name or like powered by in a stitch gear. Whatever you do, put your company name there so that if somebody does need a website, they can reach out to you. So, yeah, try this. Let's get back on the video and let's learn more. So we're back. So you so far, you should know how to create a Webflow, you know, account, how to find a template, okay, for your, for the business. And then you should also know so far how to publish it. So you should know all those things so far. So, so far you have learned three things, okay? Design, okay? You have learned copy, how to write a copy, right? You have also learned how to use Webflow. So congratulations. So you learned all those things right now. So once you found that website, we made a website right now. So at this so far, we have a website that we are ready to sell. Now, step number three is you're going to walk, actually walk into that business that you made the website for. Okay. Now you're thinking, you know, why would I do that? You know, before knowing that they're going to buy. So here's the thing, right? So if you call them and say, Hey, you know, I want to build a website for you. Most of these people are going to say no. Okay. And here's the thing. Okay. That website that you just built, it's not, it didn't take you an hour. It took you like 30 minutes, right? So it's fine. Okay. If you're starting out, you know, once you get to some level, yeah, you, you can do that. But if you're just starting out, just trying to make some extra cash, that's fine. Okay. It took you 30 minutes while you're Netflixing and chilling. You made that website. So you're good to go. 30 minutes to an hour. You got that website ready to go. So you're going to walk down to that business. You're going to say, Hey, what's up? May I speak to the manager? Okay. And you show them the website. You show them, you know, what you have done. They're going to ask you, why did you do it? I said, they're going to say, you're going to say, I love your business. I just couldn't stand, you know, you know, having your lame website. This sucks, but here's a better one for you. Show it to them. Okay. It's going to have their logo. It's going to have their menu. It's going to have their text. It's going to have everything that they need. Okay. They know that they need it, but they're not upgrading because they don't want to go through that hassle. But guess what? You just did. I taught you how to do that right now. So you should know how to 
do that. You're going to say that. Okay. And then most likely you will talk to the owner because you're going to be building a website for moms and pops, small business, right? Not a, not a franchise or chain. Don't, don't waste time, you know, building a website for McDonald's. That doesn't make sense. So only moms and pops, like, you know, small companies that have a lame, and a stupid website and you're going to show it to them. You're going to sit down and show them how all the cool features tap to call mobile version, desktop version, how easy it is. And it's already there. Okay. It's ready to go. And all you have to do is just publish it out on their domain name. And I showed that to you earlier as well. Now, once you have done that next step is to sell it. Now, how, how much do you sell it for? So here's what I say. Okay. Here's what I say. Yes, you can sell it for a higher price, but what I like to do is just say, okay, I just want a thousand dollars for it. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. You're my favorite business. And all I want is a thousand dollars. That's yours. I'll just go ahead and publish it to you. Now also let them know that, Hey, if you want, if they, you know, if they want you to make any changes, you will do that. But if they want like regular maintenance, just charge them like 25 to 50 bucks per month, which shouldn't be a big deal, but a thousand bucks for a website is super, super, super cheap. Okay. And they know that. And at this point, most likely you're going to be getting that deal. You're going to get that thousand bucks. And then guess what? You just make that thousand, thousand bucks within like 30 minutes or an hour of work. Okay. Now, but here's the thing you have to keep doing it over and over. So you can't just do it once a month. So here's what I want you to do. Okay. So starting today, right in one week, I want you to build four websites. Okay. So four websites should not take you more than one hour. That's right. So it should not take you more than one hour. So because, sorry, more than, um, uh, yeah, more than two hours, actually, because it'll take you about 30 minutes to make one website. So it shouldn't take you more than two hours. So in one week, you're spending about two hours, right? And then with those two hours, you should be able to rake in about three to four K guaranteed. But keep in mind, it's a, it's a, it's a process, right? You're not going to make the money. You might not make the money on the first week because you're going to be, you have the website, you're going to start selling it. While you're selling it, you're going to start a new website. You're going to keep doing it over and over. Okay. And then at that point you should be made raking in some money. Okay. So yeah. So in this video, video, you learn how to make a thousand dollars, you know, just chill from Webflow uh, that you can sell to any business owner for a thousand bucks per pop. I hope you enjoyed this video, right? And yeah, go ahead and follow us, subscribe to us so I can bring more videos like this to you every single time. Have an awesome day ahead and make sure to subscribe right now.